June 16, 2008. It is the last day that little two-year-old Kaylee Anthony is seen alive. One month later, July 15th, her grandmother, Cindy Anthony, is frantic because she hasn't seen Kaylee. She calls 911 to report her missing. I found out my granddaughter has been taken. She has been missing for a month. Her, her mother finally admitted that she's been missing. We're talking about a three-year-old little girl. I need to find her. How's everybody doing today? So here I am in Vista East, which is a section of Orlando, just about um, 20 minutes from downtown Orlando, nice little suburb, not too far from the airport. And I've gotten a lot of requests for this uh, case, and it's been on my list for a very long time. And finally, I've made it back to Orlando. If you don't know the name Casey Anthony, I'd be very surprised. She was a young mother who had a daughter, Kaylee, in 2008, Kaylee went missing. And about five months later, her body was discovered not too far from here at all. And it was worldwide news. It was very sensationalized. Uh, it's just, it, it was a huge, huge case. And I'm gonna talk about it, show you the house, show you the apartment where she was staying when she moved out of her parents' house for a little bit or just wasn't staying there. I don't know if she didn't technically moved out and then finally go to where Kaylee's little body was found. And with me is Leslie Love. Hey guys. We're gonna have to work this out somehow with the camera. I know, with a bit right. of a height difference. I'm, I'm really tall and if you're a little shorter. If I back shorter. up a little bit, I think it helps. Yeah, it's okay. Well, yeah. well, you know a lot about this case because you're from here. I am from here and I also follow this case like every day. I was kind of obsessed with it. Right. And the fact that she worked at some point at Universal Studios and I worked there for 10 years. Right. was like, what? Like I probably even cross paths with her. You know people that knew her. Yes, yes, I did. So a couple of my friends actually, they weren't like really close with her, but they interacted with her. They were at parties with her. Yeah, right. It's, uh, I think it's crazy. safe to say that after, because I've done video of videos about other parents and with missing children, parents that have killed their children. It's never been proven, of course, right? That Casey right. did, but and uh, after Susan Smith and there's Andrea Yates in Texas, but I think Casey Anthony could be described, quote unquote, as one of the most hated women in yeah, America. She still is, I think. You no, know, she's yeah, yeah. She doesn't really show her face much. No, she lives. She lives in South Florida now. Yeah. Yeah, she's been. I believe she has a private detective company set up down. Oh yeah, they're they're setting yeah. up some kind of. Yeah. I don't even know honestly, but yeah. It's very bizarre. So I cover a lot of true crime. Leslie has a, a, a YouTube channel. It's very popular, but you do mostly filming locations. Not popular. <laughs> but yeah, mostly <laughs> filming locations. Mostly filming locations. This is my first true, true crime. crime. Yeah. But I'm gonna turn the camera on you, and I'm gonna ask you some questions while we walk over to the house. Okay. Okay. So Leslie, here we are, we're walking down the street. Now this street was filled with media. Oh my God, the camera media. Crews, yeah. Everywhere, Everywhere, right? Yeah, it was insane. Um, people coming over angry with, with, the, with the grandparents, you know, because they thought that they weren't doing enough or weren't saying enough, but right. I mean, we weren't there. We don't really know what they're 
were going through. Right. I we, can only imagine. So this is Casey's heartache. parents' house, and she was. This is where she was living. So basically, the facts of the story are. Her okay. So basically, when Kaylee, I guess uh, Casey and Cindy get into a fight, I think it was uh, during. Uh, Father's Day. Right, Cindy is was her like mom. June, yeah, like June 15, 2008, they get into a fight. So Casey takes Kaylee and moves out. You know, goes to her boyfriend's house for you know, right, like a month or so. And then I want to say about July 15th, maybe the 14th is when they get a call that Casey's car has been impounded, and they're like, "What? Like I thought she was in Tampa. I thought she, you know." So they're confused. They go. He goes. George goes picks up the car, and I'm guessing Cindy at this point calls Casey, wanting information like, what is going on? Where's Kaylee? Where are you? I think she comes over, and then when George gets there, he he says, why... Her father. Yeah. Why does it smell like a dead body has been in the trunk of the car? And so, Casey finally... Oh, she said something about she didn't know where Kaylee was because... She had left her with a babysitter. Right. Zanny. Yeah. Zanny the nanny, yeah. Z Zanny the nanny right? I believe yeah. it was. It eventually it became Zanny the nanny. Right. Um, so she makes up a name that Kaylee was with her the whole time. And she's like, what do you mean? <laughs> so I think she drives her. She's kind of like drives her around in circles and finally admits that she didn't know where Kaylee was. So, of course, Cindy is frantic and calls the police. Um, Kaylee has been missing for 30 days. For 31 days, I think. Right, 31. Um, which is insane. And I, the operator was, you know, questioning her, like, why didn't you guys report her sooner? And then once she knew about the trunk of the car, I think she calls back and mm -hmm. says that, you know, the trunk smells like a dead body has been in the trunk of the car. I think she even called even a third time. But eventually, Casey gets on the phone also with the operator, and the operator questions her. Why didn't you report your daughter missing? It's been 31 days. And she was afraid to contact the authorities, and that she looked for other sources or something, other ways to try to find her daughter. Right, which makes which absolutely no yeah, sense. It was, yeah, it was crazy. Okay. No sense. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> I called a little bit ago, the deputy sheriff saying I found out my granddaughter has been taken. She has been missing for a month. Her, her mother finally admitted that she's been missing. Okay, what is what someone is, here now? Okay, what is the address that you're calling from? We're talking about a three-year-old little girl. My daughter finally admitted that the baby's in the store. I need to find her. Your daughter admitted that your, the baby is where? But the babysitter took her a month ago that my daughter's been looking for. I told you my daughter was missing for a month. I just found her today, but I can't find my granddaughter. There's something wrong. I found my daughter's car today, and it smells like there's been a dead body in the damn car. Okay, what is the three-year-old's name? Kaylee. Kaylee, they want to talk to you. Answer the question. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hi. Well, can, you, can you tell me what's going on a little bit? I'm sorry? Can you tell me a little bit what's going on? My daughter's been missing for the last 31 days. No. And you know who has her? I know who has her. I've tried to contact her. I actually received a phone call today now from a number that is no longer in service. I did get to speak to my daughter for about a moment, about a minute. So now, you're, now you're three old, okay, your three-year-old daughter is missing. Kaylee Anthony? Yes. White Kaylee female? Kaylee Anthony. Yes, white female. Three years old, eight, nine, 2005 is her date of birth? Yes. And you last saw her a month ago? 31 days. It's been 31 days. Who has her? Do you have, do you have a name? Her name is Zenaida Fernandez Gonzalez. And why, why are you calling now? Why didn't you call 31 days ago? I've been looking for her and have gone through other resources to try to find her which is stupid. Right. So this is just down at the end of this street. So a media frenzy ensued, right? She was arrested the next day. The very next day she was arrested for child neglect. And what's crazy is, like you were saying, you went to Universal. I know the police want to see her office at Universal, yeah, and she and took went for a walk around Universal for like a half an hour with the police before she finally made it. She hadn't been working there I in a while. They actually went into Universal. Yeah, they did. And she tried to like 
walk him through different yeah. offices and stuff. And yeah. after 30 minutes, she finally admitted she hadn't been working there, which I find to be one of the stranger parts of the case because it's like, how how would her parents, how do you get, how do you get away with lying to people that, so you, that you're going to a job every day yeah. that you're not going to? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. So after, after all of that and she gets arrested, um, eventually... You know, they question her, and she continues to lie throughout the whole Released from the Orange County Jail, Casey seems to still be a prisoner, and these people are turning up the pressure. Protesting Casey is like a second job for Alex Rodriguez. I want her to know that I'm out here holding this sign up. Rodriguez works the graveyard shift at the airport, but spent most of his day holding this sign out front of the Anthony's with his wife. So she was free for a while, the child's missing, and a meter reader saw yes. something strange right around the corner here, not too far. Yeah, he was He, he was reported it two or three times in August. Oh, he did? Yes. And the one police came out and took a look around, a cursory look, and said there's nothing there. And then December, he called again and said, there's something, something in, those, in those woods that and I keep I seeing. Well, apparently, and one thing I've read, I don't know if this is true, that he may have moved the bag it was a bag i, I believe think, right yeah, i think he touched it with his leg or something For, so the police could find it easier because he was so concerned about this so he's completely I, it sounds like i'm saying he has something to do not not at all completely no, innocent but, but people did think that for right a while they too. did but yeah. he just was like there's something I mean, out there it, it's, exactly there's really so many did. twists and turns it's hard to kind of like essentially and then not to mention um kaylee uh or casey when she mentions the whole nanny thing um of course, there's, there's, now they're looking for this nanny that yeah. they never find. And it well, wasn't until the case, until like court, that the whole story changes again. Right. So it's just... It's and, but there was, a, there was a woman that was the, uh, a she nanny, but she wasn't... She have that exact name since. Yeah. And, uh, what was it? What did I say earlier? I forget. Zanny, but... Yeah, Zendaya Gonzalez, something like that. So she ended up losing her job. You know, oh my god people thought like wait are you this are you this nanny that it's on the news and she's like no she tried i don't know eventually what happened with her but yeah I'm, i can only imagine that also cost her a lot of you know heartbreak and right so essentially from here from the house that we're about to approach just around the corner she was living at her boyfriend's we're gonna go there straight that apartment and they her boyfriend had roommates and they thought she was a little weird as well Casey Anthony but what's fascinating I think for most people about the case is besides the fact that it was a, a two-year-old a, a, an innocent two-year-old that was murdered is the fact that Casey Anthony just acted so erratically and so weird and so a little holier than thou and, and she was charged for first degree murder I was just reading here first degree murder and 2008 and pleaded not guilty. And is, she got off. Yeah. Oh yeah. She did. She she and she was. I think and she was, was. It was three different counts too. Yeah. She and was sentenced to a thousand days or something, and then she got time served, so she yeah, was out. Four years, I think she yeah. served. Yeah. How long did the jury deliberate? Ten hours. Ten hours. Ten yeah. hours they Ten deliberated. Hours. Ten and, hours and forty minutes. And found her not guilty. Yeah. Because they're just insane. Well, because, okay, so the defense, the defense. Let me see. The defense was saying that. Um, so Kaylee basically was murder is what they wanted to because when they found the, the remains the lady said that there was tape over duct her, tape yeah duct tape I mean it was a mouth. skull and bones and it was all that but there was some duct why, tape you know they decided that it was manslaughter right and so in order to you know in court to be able to how do you say that to, you can't prove they yeah. couldn't prove that it was first degree murder the prosecution said that she drowned the, yeah, they said and then in the, in the pool in the backyard and that's that was their their whole thing and that came out the first day we're all like confused i'm like you seriously gonna turn this around now and say that she drowned in the and pool? then and what and did then, they say that she drowned in the pool and then casey panicked and that her and george um got rid of the remains yeah which is not which is insane and then Eventually, they also accused her own dad of um, right, molesting. who had nothing to do with yeah, it. Insane. So they they completely turned that around and made it look like K 
Casey was completely innocent the whole well, time. Right. She got four years by time served. So she was out. And she was, during, before the trial, she was out partying. There's yeah, pictures. Yeah, so during those 31 days that supposedly Kaylee was missing, she... The pictures from Facebook popped up that she was partying the entire time. Yeah. Seen at clubs, at wet, wet t-shirt contests, and even got a tattoo that said Bella Vita, which means yeah. beautiful life in Italian. And there's something about um, the computer, the Google searches. It yeah, found so, the computer in the home. Uh, yeah, they found that in the computer in the home, someone searched how to make chloroform. Right. And then, unfortunately, her mom, when she got on the stand, she said that that was her, that she's one that did those searches, but it came back that we the searches they're... were done during that time. Cindy was actually at work. Right. So it didn't correlate. She that. was protecting her daughter. Yes, she was. So Which, C Casey's know. mother was protecting her daughter. And I read somewhere that also they found a Google search, how to break a neck. Now, Which I didn't know I, that. I've, I've, I've heard mm. that. There's so many different rumors about and there's it. There's facts and there's rumors always to every case but with this case there's so many rumors but some of them are also true yeah, it's I hard mean, to pinpoint exactly there is a lot because there's things. so many twisted turns and, and i'm pretty sure people watching this are going to be like oh my gosh and they're going to have something yeah everybody's going to have an I'm opinion gonna forg I for i've forgotten so right much. that's why i took notes because I mean, this has happened. What, how long has it been now? Has it been like ten years? Since Fourteen it's years. Fourteen. Two thousand eight. Right? So yeah, like all the facts are not fresh in my head. Well, it's not only that; it's just that there's the facts it are convoluted. Yeah. It's real, yeah. like it's really it's twisty and turny. It's really but her remains were found, and she they couldn't exactly the determine summer. the cause of death. Yeah, it was hard to determine the the. The cause it was of death skeletal had, remains. Yeah, and because from from July that the body was left there, it was found December 11th. Of was she suffocated with the duct tape? Why would she have duct tape on her? Right. Did she panic? Did she? Did Casey Anthony just she, try to? Maybe she just wanted to put her put, sleep, put a bigger sleep so she could go out and party. But maybe she did on purpose because she wanted a life without her daughter. Right. Now. It, it, she could have broke more sense, and, it, and the yeah. part that doesn't make sense because the the prosecution did not really talk about the duct tape. They didn't really explain yeah. why. Right. Why was that there? I think it's a clear cut case of when you, and I have no problem saying this because, I, but I can't prove it. It's my opinion. I think Casey Anthony is just a sociopath, a I narcissistic so sociopath, yeah. and I think she either the her, didn't want her daughter in her life anymore because she I wanted us to. to be a single. Young lady, I mean, it, out on the town. She proved that during those thirty-one days. Exactly. Like, how how is your daughter missing and you're out partying? Or she didn't stuff? care. And she didn't even report her missing. Didn't care. The or yeah, the, didn't care about her own daughter. Yeah. Here's the house. We're gonna walk over to it right now, and show you. And she was found with a bed sheet, correct? Right. There was a Winnie the Pooh right. blanket wrapped around her, and they put her into a laundry bag. Right. So and it was traced back to the, it matched something in the house. Yes, yeah, there was uh, blankets um, in, the, in her room. Right. Winnie the Pooh as well. Right. So I was always... Thing, also the duct tape. They found that same duct tape in the garage in a like gas can or something. I oh, wow. What it was. You guys remind me what it was, but... There was also they could match the duct tape as well back right. to the house. And because I was uh, when I was doing research for this, I was thinking, well, maybe she was um, poor little Kaylee was murdered possibly at a different location, the boyfriend's apartment. Right. But then when I read this other stuff, I was like, no, because the where her body was found is so just around, so close that we could walk to there from here. Yeah. There's the house right there. Right there. Right it's there. It's surreal for me to like be here right now and, and yeah. see it because all those. For so many months that I watched it on TV, like, and people screaming at them. I remember him coming out right. angry, like he was just. I mean, I can only imagine. Media like, everywhere. This you was. Lost your granddaughter, and people were yelling at you. You call it Media City when that, when when an event happens and it was all here, all here. Do you think uh, by the amount of people that's been here over the past weeks, two weeks, or whatever, that that is starting to that is starting to happen? Yeah, I think it's starting to work. He said for himself, it's breaking his family apart, so hopefully it breaks them all down. And they tell. Come on, we love it. Yeah. Yeah. She's 
night we saw the Anthony's outside putting up these big no trespassing signs. Well, George Anthony came home just shortly before 3 o'clock, and a couple of guys were just set out in chairs right here. Now, whether this is public property, private property, well, he took issue with it. Those guys, George took all of their belongings and just kind of threw them into the next yard. Those guys are just sitting right here, just uh, not media. They're just checking out to see what's going on. Take a look at the incident that happened just a little bit ago. Get it off my property. I've asked you, I told you, I told you, you're going to damage all my stuff? You know something? I really don't care about your stuff, huh? Get off my property. Uh, that's your property. This is my property, this is my property. I'm going to clear the grass. Get off my property. So uh, let's see with the house in the background. What were we? What were you just telling me about the grandfather? I just remembered, like during trial, he actually tried to commit suicide and even wrote a suicide note. I mean, he had just been through so much, and then having to hear the prosecution accuse him of either murder or like putting, like taking the remains himself and getting rid of it, and then accusing him of being a child molester. You know, right. I, I mean, I can only imagine the emotion. Right. But yeah, he did try to commit suicide. He didn't. He said he wanted to be with Kaylee. Right. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you. I don't think you've been to this location before. Not there no, by, but we're gonna go together to the apartment that she was staying at during those oh, 31 definitely days. Definitely not. I did. I actually. I kind of forgot about it. Her her boyfriend's name was Tony Lazaro. Yes. So she moved in with him after she got into a fight with her mother, and I guess that's where she was with Kaylee. Yeah. And there's like pictures of her actually online if you look up of her sitting in the apartment with Kaylee on the oh, couch wow. and you can see the window behind them. For the Ninth Judicial Circuit in and for Orange County, Florida. State of Florida versus Casey Marie Anthony. As to case number 2008, CF 15606-0. As to the charge of first degree murder, verdict as to count one, we the jury find the defendant not guilty, so say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, on this fifth day of July, 2011, signed four person. Just past that truck, see a street sign, turn left. The house is literally, what, two minutes? Yeah. Not even. Not even, probably. Not even. I mean, a two-minute walk. walk. Yeah. Two-minute walk. So we're walking towards the memorial. And, and a lot of, uh, the memorial was here for a very long time. And it was taken away. Yeah, they had um, a really long, like, it was like roped, like, it was like a really long, there was like a cross in the middle, and it had like, two bars on the side it was really pretty right it had her name on it and stuff but people people would take it down i don't know why and then the person that made that one would make it again and come back and do it yeah um now it's said that they might be i'm surprised we can see it from here like i i yeah. last time i looked it up on google there was nothing there was nothing yeah I and saw, so it's nice that they all i knew was something. to look for this long fence and to walk about 50 yards past it which is exactly where we're going to walk to right now and show you the uh place where little kaylee's body was found there is no grave for kaylee she was uh cremated um but let's go over there right now the 
The memorial for little Kaylee is right here. Now I believe, Leslie, she was found a little deeper in, right? Right, I think she was found more to the left, I think, on this side over here. Yeah, they had some tents set up that they were... Only because I just, I would remember people coming and they were, it looked like they were more over there where, where it was found. Right. There used to be signs saying private property. I'm assuming somebody owns this, but yeah. right here. And you brought some flowers for her. That's so sweet. I don't know if I should take them out of the bag. I think um, you've got some. You might want to maybe put it so it can here. And there, here? so it stays, so it won't blow away as oh, easily. That's a good idea. You know. It's not really covering up anybody else's here. Put it there. Yeah. Yeah, you want the teddy bear showing. But that's nice of you. Wow. It's heavy. It's heavy. Like we were talking earlier, like you don't do really true crime. And I always no, explain that when have. you cover a case, when you see something like this in person, it takes it to a different level, correct? Yeah, it does. And we're both seeing this for the first time. And that's well, why. I, I can't, uh, when I listen to podcasts and things like that about death and murder and they don't take it seriously, I'm just like, I, that really aggravates me when they're laughing or they're having drinks while they talk about it. It's weird to me because it's like, well, why don't you go to the actual place where this happens, see how it makes you feel, see if you think it's funny. That's just my little rant because it's, it's very, very sad to see this. I don't know how deep in I should go, but it looks like some people have just discarded garbage and things like that. Well, let's see. Um, Florida native as you are, I'm about to melt in this yeah, heat. You're able to do it, it though with the Floridian blood. Mm -hmm. my, my makeup is going to start melting off. So. Well, thank you for coming with me, Leslie. And that was, it's a difficult thing, right? To do true, true crime. It is. It's I, not. I, um, I, I command you because honestly, I don't think I could do it. I, I actually com composed myself, but I, I kind of wanted to start crying a little bit. So, you know. I know. It's sad. And, and I, I, two year old. Any, any, any age it's sad, and, it's but sad. a defenseless two-year-old. To me, the hardest part is like seeing the area. Like right, just, I mean, just we're it, like. just the side of the road like this. How bizarre. I don't even know what to say, but rest in peace, Kaylee Anthony. Rest in peace, Kaylee. Casey Anthony, I guess some at some point, karma. Oh yeah, I mean for sure. I mean she's I never going to live a normal life. No. Know? Everywhere she goes, she's. She she's, just seems so. Like she's fine. Narcissistic. She even, she even said in an interview that she's fine. Oh yeah, there's there's. She's like, she's like I can, I know that I can sleep well at night. I'm like okay. I'm sure she does. That's a sociopath. And one thing I said is there's photos of her like at bars and stuff still coming out every now and again. She hates having her photo taken at well, bars. Yeah, well, there was just it, it, this was recently that she she had to call the police because somebody threw a drink at her at a bar mm. and it was over she's lucky it's just a drink really but so those photos you say to yourself well she doesn't want them published or doesn't want them online so you want to respect someone's privacy right no here they are So there you go. There's what she looks like nowadays. Still out there living her best life, according to her, probably. Yeah. 
Leslie, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Okay, God. get in here. Okay, everybody, peace. Out.